Our next guest wants to be Missouri's top cop. We have Senator Kurt Schaefer who is joining us. I'm Jill Jensen and we are coming to you from the Truman Library. Welcome. Thank you very much. It's good to be here. So you're in the race for Attorney General. I am. I am. And it's, uh, it's going well. It takes me all over the state and it's, very, it's been very interesting. Tell me what your interest is and why that you want this particular office. You know, I started my legal career 20 years ago as a prosecutor in the Attorney General's office, prosecuted criminal cases all over the state, including capital murder cases and, and a whole host of other cases. And, you know, after being in the Senate now for seven years and one year left in the Senate, uh, I passed a lot of criminal laws, strengthened a lot of sentences uh, for, for criminals, and now looking at making sure that those laws get carried out the way they should to, to keep our Missourians safe. What sets you apart from your opponent? You know, I think the issue there is, uh, and, and we'll see who that opponent ends up being, is the experience. I don't think there's anyone else looking at the position who actually has, has been a criminal prosecutor as I've been or, or tried as many cases around the state of Missouri as I have. And that really makes a difference when you're asking to be the people's top lawyer. Well, Missouri's Attorney General's office I think has a nationally known reputation. They do, and you know, and I certainly worked on those cases as well back when I was at the Attorney General's office years ago, and that's consumer protection. And that's one of those things that the Attorney General has what we call original jurisdiction, which is where the Attorney General can come in and file either criminal cases or civil cases on his own, really without needing a local prosecutor to be in that case with him. And one thing that I've done recently as a senator is I filed a bill, it's a state RICO bill. RICO is just an acronym for Racketeering Influenced and in or Criminal Organizations Act, which there's a federal law like that. It was passed in the 1970s and it's really what the federal government used to crack down on organized crime. And so we don't have something like that at the state level that the Attorney General can use, but it would give the, the Attorney General original crim criminal jurisdiction to bring cases, for example, in human trafficking, political corruption, uh, uh, meth distribution and manufacturing, those things that really are bigger than just the individual crime, it allows you to throw a broad net over the entire organization. And sadly, those three things that you just mentioned, Missouri does have some problems. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, there's been a lot of discussion lately about human trafficking, as there should be, because that is a problem in Missouri, as it is in many other states and around the, around the world. And also, unfortunately, we still have a substantial meth problem in the state of Missouri. Right. I think they, uh, do we still, between either us or California, rank one or two, depending? We are always in the top five, yes. Yeah, um, sadly on that. So um, I think that those are problems, too, that sometimes I think Missourians, when we live here, uh, that we feel like we're isolated and insulated even from. Well, I think so. Um, you know, and, and some crimes certainly break down between urban and rural crimes, but we certainly have meth, for example, tends to be more of, an, uh, of a rural issue than an urban issue. Uh, you have uh, organized gang crimes, which tend, which tend to be more of an urban issue. But one thing about passing a law like this, it's an additional tool for the attorney general to, to bring the types of cases in, in in, in the courts that throw a broad net over the entire criminal organization and pretty much get everyone you can get to rather than just maybe the one person that you happen to arrest in a human trafficking uh, incident. Have enough funding and you ought to be able to answer this question for that office? Yeah, you know, it's amazing. Uh, the, office, uh, the, the office budget is about $25 million a year, which uh, in the scheme of things, it's a lot of money, but small compared to, you know, multi uh, billions of dollars, for example, for the Department of Social Services and some of those other agencies where we see uh, the spending of resources when crime gets out of control. Uh, we don't have public safety. And then we have a lot of ancillary services that the state pays for as a result of that. So hopefully, if we can uh, be a little tighter on crime through the Attorney General's office and working with local elected prosecutors as well, uh, we can make Missouri a safer place. Well, with budget chair, your year in the, uh, years in the Senate, and now what you're looking forward to, it's an impressive resume. Thank you. And it's pleased to meet you. Very nice. Very good to see you again. Yeah. All right, that's all the time we have. <laughs>